MiG-35 is a new export variant that combines the modern systems of the MiG-29M2 with an AESA radar and manufactured by Mikoyan. The fighter plane has the thrust vectoring of the MiG-29 OVT as an additional optio. Improved avionics and weapon systems, notably the new AESA radar and the uniquely designed optical locator system, make the aircraft less dependent on ground-controlled interception systems and enables the MiG-35 to conduct independent multirole missions. MiG-35 is compatible with Russian and foreign origin weapons applications and an integrated variety of defensive systems to increase combat survivability. The fighter plane is being marketed globally under the designation MiG-35. MiG-35 is a contender to the Eurofighter Typhoon, FA-18EF Super Hornet, Dassault Rafale, JS-39 Gripen, and F-16 Falcon for the bid of more than 126 multirole combat aircraft worth $10 to be procured by the Indian Air Force in Indian MRCA competition. MiG-35 is the first Russian aircraft to be fitted with active electronically scanned array radar. The Zukmay's antenna consists of 160 modules, each with four receive and transmit modules. It is believed to offer a 160 km 85M air target detection radius and 300 km for surface ships. Like radar, OLS allows the MiG-35 to detect targets and aim weapon systems. But unlike radar, OLS has no emissions, meaning it cannot be detected. OLS works like a human eye by getting the picture and later analyzing it. NIPP, the Federal Space Agency Science and Research Institute's engineers, have chosen more shortwave bands for the matrix, which has increased sensitivity of the complex several times and has increased detection range. The OLS on the MiG-35 is considered to help pilots to spot even the USAF stealth planes. OLS includes a complex of powerful optics with IR vision that makes it impossible for any plane to hide. OLS solves the problem of blurred vision. At speed, each piece of dust can cause harm to the glass of the OLS. The new OLS uses Luco Sapphire, the next hardest material after artificial diamonds, making the lifetime for such glass much longer. According to NIPP engineers, Luco Sapphire is clear for all the OLS emissions and doesn't corrupt the signal, an important factor for the optical systems. The MiG-35 is powered by two RG-33 MKBs that can be fitted with Clev T swivel nozzles and a thrust vectoring control system. The MiG-35's combination of TVC and advanced missile warning sensors gives it the edge during combat. RD-33 engines generate 7% more power compared to the baseline model due to the modern materials that go into the manufacturing of the cooled bull RD-33 engines are smokeless and include systems that reduce infrared and optical visibility. The engines may be fitted with vectored thrust nozzles, which would result in an improvement in combat efficiency. The MiG and Klimov engine bureaus began their work in the field of thrust vector engines a little later and aimed at all aspect thrust vectoring, as opposed to Sokwai. MiG-35 the fighter has vastly improved avionics and weapon systems compared to early variants of MiG-29, notably new precision-guided targeting capability and the uniquely designed optical locator system, which relieves the aircraft from relying on ground-controlled interception systems and enables it to conduct independent multirole missions. Serial production aircraft use a PESA radar. The MiG-35 include a completely new fly-by-wire flight control system, vastly improved cockpit, substantially upgraded avionics, and integrated precision-guided targeting capability for air-to-ground weapons. This marked an overall design philosophy that provides an enhanced degree of operational autonomy on the MiG-35 compared to earlier Russian combat aircraft. 
Mate 35 with revised tail fin aim for export market. The new version features further refined geometry of the airframe. Uprated MiG-35 engines with thrust at full afterburner of 9 tons, an advanced electro-optical reconnaissance system, and an active array. Radar capable of tracking up to 30 targets simultaneously. Additionally, RAC MiG-35 press release also mentions renewed mission equipment and other improvements made to meet the requirements of potential foreign customers. The mock-up also featured a new head-up display with extra-wide field of view, part of a new mission equipment suite from Remen Skoy PK. The main features make 35 of the new design are the fifth-generation information sighting systems, compatibility with Russian and foreign weapons applications, and an integrated variety of defensive systems to increase combat survivability. The new overall design overtakes the design concepts of the baseline model and enables the new aircraft to conduct full-scale multirole missions as their Western counterparts. New avionics are intended to help the MiG-35 gain air superiority, as well as to perform all-weather precision ground strikes, aerial reconnaissance with optoelectronic and radar equipment, and to conduct complex. The final configuration of the MiG-35's onboard equipment has been left open, intentionally using the STD-1553 bus. Maximum payload is 6.5 tons. The MiG-35 is powered by two RD-33 MK Morskaya OSA, providing a higher thrust of 9,000 PF. In response to earlier criticism, the new engines are smokeless and include systems that reduce infrared and optical visibility. In January 2017, during a conference call with Russian President Vladimir Putin, Yuri Slaysar, President of the UAC, reported that the MiG-35 could possibly use a kind of laser weaponry in the future. Military trials of the laser are to proceed immediately after flight testing of the aircraft, however. There was doubt if Slaysar made a mistake by saying laser weaponry instead of laser-guided weapon. The MiG-35 is also planned to be capable of launching the Ki-36 Grom-1 cruise missile giving it a long-range strike capability that the MiG-29 does not possess. The MiG-35 has a glass cockpit equipped with night vision goggles, an additional display for the optical locator system, and a three-equal-size color LCD multifunction display. The second-seat version of the MiG-35, the MiG-35D, has four LCD displays in its rear cockpit. The MiG-35D uses a tandem cockpit, while single-seat versions of the MiG-35 uses the rear cockpit to store extra fuel, while retaining a two-seat canopy. In 2022, there were reports that the Russian government had proposed providing two squadrons of MiG-35 to the Royal Malaysian Air Force. He Super Hornet is largely a new aircraft at about 20% larger, 7,000 pounds, 3,000, 200 kivir empty weight and 15,000 pounds, 6,800 kilograms heavier maximum weight than the original Hornet. The Super Hornet carries 33% more internal fuel, increasing mission range by 41% and endurance by 50% over the Legacy Hornet. As the Super Hornet is significantly heavier than the Legacy Hornet, the catapult and arresting systems must be set differently. To aid safe flight operations and prevent confusion in radio calls, the Super Hornet is informally referred to as the Rhino to distinguish it from earlier Hornets. The Rhino nickname was previously applied to the McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom Nu, which was retired from the fleet in 1987. The aircraft suite of guided MiG-35 weapons includes Key 3-1, a anti-ship missiles with active radar seekers, the Ki 31P anti-radar missiles, Ki 29 TE missiles, and KAB 500 Kerr TV guided bombs. Added, when equipped with an external optical laser targeting pod, the fighter can use the Ki 29 liters air-to-surface missiles and KAB 500 liters laser guided bombs. These weapons will allow the aircraft to engage aerial and land targets. The MiG-35, 
the jammer renders self-defense from radar-controlled anti-aircraft artillery. The MiG-35 can climb at the rate of 330 meters. Its maximum speed is 2,400 kilometers. The normal and ferry range of the aircraft are 2,000 kilometers and 3,100 kilometers, respectively. The service ceiling is 17,500 meters. The aircraft weighs around 11,000 kilograms, and its maximum takeoff weight is 29,700 kilograms. In fact, the MiG-35 would feature advancements on fighters in combat efficiency enhancement, universality, and operational characteristics improvement.